Now, after J. Edgar Hoover used this methodology to bring down uh, Marcus Garvey and destroy the Universal Negro Improvement Association, as I mentioned, he would perfect this into a technique that would be used in the uh, 60s, uh, most notably against Malcolm X and against Dr. King. Now, what was it uh, really about Minister Malcolm X and Dr. Uh, Martin Luther King that made them such a threat to the, to the uh, uh, American ways of life in the eyes of uh, J. Edgar Hoover? So, to that question, is found in a memo by J. Edgar Hoover uh, in response to a discussion about Dr. Uh, Martin Luther King. Now, this memo in which J. Edgar Hoover would send around to most of his trusted FBI agents would become known as the Hoover Memo. The memo reads, to prevent the rise of a messiah who could unify and electrify the militant black nationalist movement, Malcolm X might have been such a messiah. He is a martyr of the movement today. Martin Luther King, Stokely Carmichael, and Elijah Muhammad all aspire to this position. Elijah Muhammad is less a threat because of his age. King could become a very real contender for this position should he abandon his supposed obedience to white liberal doctrine of nonviolence and embrace black nationalism. Now this was a FBI memorandum that was issued on March the 4th 1968. And keeping in mind, that just a, little, a month, what, a few weeks after that, up in April, the assassination of Martin Luther King in Memphis. The goal of this memo was to prevent the rise of a black messiah who could unify the black masses. Who will never forget his experience with Marcus Garvey and the fear that the Garvey movement caused. This was the foundation for the creation of the underground program that I mentioned called COINTELPRO, whose sole purpose was to neutralize any organization deemed un-American. Both Malcolm X and Dr. Martin Luther King had the potential to duplicate the success of the Marcus Garvey movement. As long as Malcolm X was part of the organizational structure of the Nation of Islam under the control of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, he was no threat to duplicate the success of Marcus Garvey and the Universal Negro Improvement Association. The same in relationship to Dr. King. As long as Dr. Uh, Martin Luther King was under the conservative, non-violent movement of civil rights, he was no threat to duplicate the national and international success of the Marcus Garvey movement. But with the awarding of the Nobel Peace Prize and his opposition to the Vietnam War, this took him like Malcolm X when he separated from the nation of Islam out of the arena of civil rights into the arena of human rights, from the national scene to the international scene moved by Malcolm X and Dr. Martin Luther King from the national arena to, of civil rights to the international arena of human rights, which signed their death war. Saint 
your daddy died in a shallow stream, but your uncle, Dr. King, did have a dream, my brother. And what is your real excuse? Why can't you study your lessons and stay in school? Why can't you study your lessons and stay in school? Free love and sex ain't nothing but a game. Don't never last, try hope. Take a chance on love, register to vote. Money ain't everything, but you could buy her a ring. Listen to little blackbird sing. Buy you a record of a yard bird with wings. Get into the swing of things. Oh boy. Try some tenderness for a change. 